Shortly, you will be meeting your first employee, Tom Simpkins, the scribe. May he serve you well. Now, I must bid you farewell, Matthew. I ride on today to find support for our cause. Sir William often spoke of our cause. In truth, with the king dead or fled abroad, I know not the purpose of our fight. Three weeks ago, I was Sir William's page. And yet now there are so few left that the royal champion can trust that I find myself here in command of my own estate. You need to place a stockpile, my liege. Cite your granary, sire. People are coming to the castle. Can't place that there, my lord. Well, if it is not young Matthew Steele, I do believe you have grown since we last met. The brothers and I need help, Matthew. The bridge leading to our monastery has collapsed, as you can see. Provide us with the wood and stone we need to repair the bridge, and we shall give you a flock of sheep in payment. Your popularity is rising. You do well, Master Steele, but please hurry. The brothers are late for an important mission. There is a holy relic they must recover. Can't place that there, my lord. Thank you, young Matthew. With the bridge repaired, the brothers can begin their quest, and I can get back to my duties. Oh, 
Oh, and here are the sheep I promised. Um, thank you, Fire Jacob. I shall send word to Sir William. Great. What am I to do with sheep? Give them each a sword and send them forth into battle? What is it, Barclay? Someone infiltrated my castle. I thought you had better know. Who was it? There were two of them. The youngest one I did not recognize, but the other... Well, who was the other? From a distance, it was you, Devereux. <laughs> How interesting. I have had them tracked down. I thought you could deal with them. Well, I could. But why not give our friend Olaf another big bag of gold? <laughs> Great idea. So, my brother still lives. I see you have settled in well, Master Steele. Now, if you find yourself short on food, there is a meadow close to our monastery ideal for rabbit hunting. You are most welcome to eat all you can, as personally, I find them quite a pest. Thank you, Friar. I shall commission some hunters. A message came from Sir William. He's negotiating with Flemish traders for a company of archers. The people of Flanders suffer a notoriously harsh winter and find themselves in need of cloth which I am to provide. Sir William has requested that I start cloth production immediately. Can't place that there, my lord. Can't place that there, my lord. Your popularity is falling. Granary stocks are very low, sir. Extra rations, lovely! Our food stocks are dwindling, my liege. Your popularity is rising. Thank <laughs> you. 
Our adrenaline stocks are growing, sire. There is word from Sir William. Matthew, you must make haste with your cloth production. Flemish trading ships have sighted a longboat belonging to Olaf Grimtooth, the Viking warlord. It will do our cause no favour to have his berserkers running riot. There is word from Sir William. Olaf is heading your way and the Flemish have yet to dispatch their archers. I will shortly send you a constable to give you military guidance, but please hurry. We are doomed. No one can stop Olaf. His bloodthirsty berserkers are fearless. We are no match for them. That is the last of the cloth. I hope Sir William has a plan, as we have left ourselves defenseless. There's nothing to fear, Tom. I'm sure Sir William will soon arrive with reinforcements. A travelling storyteller has arrived. Once upon a time, the king held the most grand of feasts. He invited lords and ladies from throughout the kingdom to gather in one of his great halls. The cooks and servants worked well to see the feast was ready on time, so were too busy to see the traitor in their midst. The guests arrived and marveled at the delicacies on the table. Five years ago today, hostilities in our great nation ended. I have summoned you here to pay homage to our fallen heroes and to usher in a new era of peace. Raise your glasses with me in a toast to a new beginning. The king is poisoned. Apothecary. Knowing his life hung by a thread, the king summoned Sir William to his side. Your Majesty, I shall watch our borders most carefully. And that is the story of how the king was poisoned. <laughs> that is a castle! This is going to be one of the easiest battles you bloodhounds have ever fought. You do not need me here. I will raid further down the coast. I remember when Olaf raided our country last. He left only destruction in his wake. This man butchered many families and I'm determined that my people will not suffer the same fate. William's constables arrived and at last I will have some men to command. Sire, Constable John Briggs at your service, sire. The cloth has been sent to Flanders, but there is no news of Sir William and his archers. We must hold Olaf back on our own. We need a barracks, and an armory, and I suggest getting our spear production up and running fast. Begging your pardon, my liege, but I have taken the liberty of setting up a trade agreement with a local merchant. We can now sell any cloth we produce directly to him.
Matthew, we wish to help, but are being attacked by dangerous bears. If you can get rid of them, we will happily help guard the road to the east. Villagers have seen bears roaming free, my lord. It is most distressing for them. The Lord is under attack! Some of our fighting monks are on the way as promised. The Lord is my master. Recruits needed, sire. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. No food distributed this month. You do not have enough gold to train this unit.
You do not have enough gold to train this unit. You disturb my prayers. Where lies my quest? And troops are under attack! Make it quick. We march for heaven. You do not have enough gold to train this unit. Recruits needed, sire. They're here! Troops are under attack! Where is the heathen's blood to be spilt? They are running, sire! The day is ours! With the great Sir William has sent us a message. I pray you are alive to read this. There is a new ally in our midst, but I need your aid most swiftly. Choose a few good men and march out to meet me. The rider I have sent knows the way.